People in a Wilmington neighborhood cannot help but worry about their health. A construction crew started tearing down a house filled with asbestos without following the proper safety procedures. And in fact, the issue was so bad, the Department of Environmental Protection was actually called in to oversee things. But as Ken McLeod shows us tonight, when neighbors complained, it did bring about change. She is like my little princess. Dave Norton worries about his right? granddaughter and his neighbors after the demolition of a nearby house triggered a cloud of asbestos dust. I just was infuriated that the town would allow this to happen. He's talking about Muse Avenue in Wilmington, where a century-old house with asbestos siding is now a pile of rubble, and a state-approved firm has finally been brought in to remove the known carcinogen. This plume of asbestos and stuff blew in my yard. What do I do? Langoni Brothers was granted a permit to demolish this house in late August and began to knock it down the very next day. That is, until neighbors complained to the state and the DEP shut the project down within hours. Unfortunately, uh, this gentleman chose to uh, try to take some shortcuts. Contractor Jonathan Langoni didn't want to talk about it tonight, but the town says he initially took zero steps to contain the cancer-causing dust. It seems to me that the gentleman uh, was expecting that he would be able to just do the work, nobody would make an issue about it, and he'd save a little money. But when the state put a hold on the demolition, the town admitted its regulations contain no requirement that contractors prove they're tackling the asbestos removal safely, relying solely on good faith. I made the assumption that the town was going to take care of us. It was a bad assumption. But he has sparked change. Specific language now in the works, mandating contractors to get town approval for their asbestos game plan before touching anything. Put it all in writing and expect that everybody's going to be held to the same standard. I would like to think this is a unique situation, but who knows? The town has apologized to residents and says Langoni may face both local and state fines. In Wilmington, Ken McLeod, WBZ News.